All right, we are back, and we are, well, I wouldn't exactly say any better equipped than we were earlier. I'm gonna just move this over. Oh, right, I put all my stat potions over here. I didn't even realize you could talk to that small child. I didn't even realize there was a small child there. Anyway, we've dropped off all of my busted-ass stat potions. I should probably disable the mod, but I don't want to. Anyway, let's, let's clear a portal first, and then we'll see about the rest. Now, where is this gonna drop me? Probably Lava Fortress, again. Yep, derelict prison. Phases. Nope, oh, looks like it's still... Oh. It lasts a little bit longer, maybe? I'm having a hard time telling exactly. Or is it that big of a deal? We enjoy my lasers. They're actually pretty weak compared to the rest of my <laughs> ensemble. Good luck with all the archers. They're a doozy. Ow. Can I, can I just get up here? Move my archers up? There we go. Problem solved. My gold. Uh, let's see. Probably make sure that I've got all of my my wisps up. All right, looks like we're good. Let's uh, just wreck a couple more things. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. it's weird. I I I thought I honestly thought Ember Lance was supposed to be a uh, like a sustained thing, and I think it is. I think I've just bugged it out somehow. Oh well. I mean, so be it. Not so bad. Now, did someone in my archers end up up here? I actually have no idea. Or is it really that big of a deal? Ah, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. There's something just really satisfying about um, just having a small horde of dudes to just fight for you. And, like... This game does it well. I can't wait to try Torchlight 2. I might do Minion Master, but I'll probably have to ask everybody else beforehand just to make sure that I, I don't... Uh, okay, I wouldn't call it a faux pas necessarily, but... You know, I'd hate to be that guy that just goes full Minion Master. Nobody can do anything. I kind of had that with Diablo 3, but, like, that was a... We were just here to just kind of be here series. I guess that's kind of what what this is, too. But, I don't know. If, I, if I'm if i going to be playing with new people, I'd like to at least, like, have a semblance of teamwork and cooperation and so on and so forth. Maybe. Okay, so we want to get across there. Oh! We want to go across this bridge. Curious about that. I wonder if after a certain point you really do just switch over entirely to, uh... If you switch entirely over just attacking things with your weapons in this game. I... I kind of bet... That's the case. Okay, let's start bunging things open. Do we got anything interesting? Eh, some cracked embers, chests, mostly garbage. Okay. Now, I think I've turned it off. Uh, turned off white items. So we're going to be seeing mostly greens, if we're lucky. Nah. And we're also on our way up to the next level of potion. Sweet. I barely use any of them. <laughs> I really... I have no immediate use. Let's see, where's my golem? Where'd he go? I don't know. I'm just gonna kinda resummon these guys. I kind I know they teleport with you, but it's like a decently long range before they actually come come join up. Hopefully, uh Hopefully it's not as much of a problem in, in uh Torchlight. I know. Well in Torchlight too. And maybe Torchlight Frontiers? I'm just worried with Fr Torchlight Frontiers it's going to turn out to be one of those, like, super pay-to-win things. Like, all I want is the equivalent of... 
Path of Exile. You know, I can deal with egregiously priced cosmetic things. Uh, what I'm afraid of is just like, buy an EXP booster, this grindy game. Because like, NCSoft's pretty good at not going full Nexon. But like, or not NCSoft. Oh, but it's not NCSoft, it's, it's Perfect World. Oh, that's, that's a spooky. That's a spooky, all right. I don't know about that. That might not actually work out in my favor. Uh, in our favor? I... Oh, well, it's fine. I mean, if it turns out to be, like, a bust, so be it. I just move on to, uh... I just move on to Grim Dawn. Because... I'd like to make it through Titan Quest and Grim Dawn. I'd probably do Titan Quest. I'd probably start Titan Quest over. Uh, and then play that with Shell, because I think she would probably enjoy uh, Greek mythology as one of these games. Because I did did like a two-hour thing of, of it like a while back and enjoyed it, but it's also one of those where it's like, I don't know. I... The only time I've really enjoyed Greek mythology in media has been in the the Hades roguelike, which is really freaking good. Uh, and, like, puts pretty much every other, uh, I mean, most other action roguelikes to shame, let alone um, any game that, like, deals with Greek mythology. I think the only other one that's, like, halfway decent, well, I mean, is the kind of given of God of War, which I think bastard bastard uh, bastardizes the whole thing. Maybe a little bit too much, but eh. I don't know. Cause yeah, I I don't know. Usually Greek Greek mythology is just how do I describe it? It's not terrible, it's is it limited in scope? Maybe it's more just that it's repetitive. You know, it's kind of always the same characters over and over and over again. And it's kind of like, I guess, Norse mythology, but Norse mythology hasn't been done as much, I want to say. Or maybe it's just, like, not as well written, so you don't run into as much. You know, Marvel Comics have Greek... Uh, Marvel Comics have, you know, really, really heavy, not Greek. Uh, DC has Greek mythology. Um, Marvel has... As Norse. Yeah, there we go. I can I can brain, I can word. There's a lot of special effects going on, and it's just like ah things. Um you have gained fame. How did we get over there? How did my guys get over there? Oh, doorway. Okay, so we still have a couple of white items that are dropping, but considerably less. Which is nice. Admittedly, most of these aren't that helpful, but still. Let's see. Oh, that was a lot of money. Oh, what do we do next? Probably just more pet mastery. It's really not that interesting, but uh, we're getting close to maxing it out, and then I can start branching out a little bit further. Let's see, but yeah, so Marvel has a bunch of Norse mythology, but even then, like, I don't think it deals with the mythology particularly well. They just kind of co-opted the mythology for their own purposes. Does this go up to 30? Wow, okay. Let's see. Oh, I don't have any, I don't have any of my potions. I'm honestly durable enough that it doesn't seem to be a problem. Get them, my minions. It's not doing the special effect anymore, so I actually have no idea if they're getting boosted. I hope so. It'd be a bit of a shame if they didn't. Uh, is that everything? I think that's everything. Let's just go up. We're fine. But I think Greek mythology, in comparison, and especially a lot of, a lot of comics, video games, movies, and whatever, they feel very similar. And maybe it's just also one of those where I'm not as big of a fan of the um, the visuals. You know, Greek mythology is usually pretty bare bones. Norse, you kind of end up with some like crazy long longhouse ship designs and what, so on and so forth, or just straight up. I really like Asgard, the MCU. It looks so nice. 
And so, yeah, playing Grim... Uh, not Grim Dawn, uh... Titan Quest is just like, well, this is a neat game, but it's like... Visually, it just doesn't do it for me. Whereas, like, Torchlight, uh, the blurry mess that is becoming as it gets older, uh, in comparison to modern things, still looks pretty good. I don't know. You've found the tokens of safe passage, your wonder partner. I know just where I can find a buyer, too, so here's your share of the profit. I don't know where all these children came from. I don't know how I've just noticed them. I didn't notice them until now, but they're everywhere. 17, per 17 magic caster attribute. Interesting. Let's get rid of the freezing staff. Let's try dual wielding here. I don't actually know if it's worthwhile, but probably going to be what I focus on at least for a little while. Okay, so this is starting to fill up. We'll have to work on that. Now that's a cut skull. Is that a... That's a regular skull. What else do we have that can be mushed down? Anything else? Coming up with mostly blanks. Some of these might be might be transmutable again. Okay. What do we got? Do we have a round circle? No, but we got a we got a square. We've got another square, and then we've got another dull core ember. So I can put this one away at least. Just keep mushing those gems down. Well, hello. And then never using them. Because, I don't know. Bye -bye. Just not something I generally bother with. Okay. Main thing is I just haven't needed them so far. But it's been like, eh, it's okay. I mean, it's like 19 health stolen per hit. It's okay. 24 health, eh. Actually, we might as well just plonk this into something. Not gonna help much, but it's not gonna hurt much either. Uh, oh, we do have some more discolored embers. I'm just gonna keep jamming that down. Okay. Oh, we have another core amber. Yeah, later. Okay, so we've we've done that quest. We've done everything. Return to the dungeon. Uh, I think this portal just takes us out to the lava, lava fortress again. I don't think there's an, anything special. On we go. I don't remember which direction I was going. Uh, a. I so we kind of just came the like weird butt route. Butt route. Nothing up here. Might as well check it out anyway. Okay. We should probably also switch over the healing potions. I don't really use the mana potions. I, I'm pretty mana efficient, apparently. I don't know if it's a matter of uh, mod conflicts, my extremely high magic stat, or... Heck if I know. It might be more of a problem if I was actually going playing as the, uh, the ranger lady instead. Because somebody was saying, like, they'd spammed nothing but, uh, Ricochet Shot. Which actually sounds pretty fun. Like, I... I feel bad. The only reason why I don't generally consider her is just because... I almost always play... I almost always play, uh... It should be... Yeah, it should be working. They should be frenzied. They might be frenzied. I, I don't know. Okay, that, well, that barely did any damage. Onwards, skeletal archers. Yeah, those guys actually do some, do some damage. Me, let them deal with things for me. I'm not durable enough to live. Actually, I'm perfectly fine. Just 
especially with some of the like uh, fancier ones, I just don't do nearly as much damage as my minions. So why do, why, why should I be doing any of the fighting? Let them handle it. Kill them for me. Come zombies. There's not nearly enough zombies. We can get some more zombies. We. There's something about this. I don't know if it's the blurriness, the speed that I'm moving, but it's making me feel like stupid cross-eyed today. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. I guess we got a decent amount of sleep last night. Um, I just know we were trying to go to bed. It was like midnight, and it sounded like there were people just walking around constantly upstairs. And it was like... It was actually kind of endless. Let's see. And we were like, okay, you know, what's the deal? Why are people just walking around left and right? Well, we didn't really get much of an answer, but we went up to the front desk and it's like, yeah, there's there's nobody there. Uh, or, you know, nobody should be there. And then, you know, the lady even went over and like, checked out the rooms and, and yeah, there's no one in, in the rooms. Which is weird, because we can still hear people walking around. So either she was in on it, or we're actually losing our minds in this place. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that, that kind of kept us up later than I wanted to. At least we didn't get woken up stupid early by the train outside. I haven't heard it at all today. I, I don't know if the train just doesn't run on Sundays or what. Okay. Let's keep enchanting this... This ring. I can't carry any more. Okay, so we did get a spell. Haste four. Better than haste three. Okay. So eleven seconds. Faster attack. Faster move. We also have bee swarm. But that's an offensive spell. Doesn't really scale well. Seven percent faster cast speed. Let me get rid of those, and we do also have a lance. Don't care though. So that's a quest complete. We okay. Let's switch away from this. Let's let's just do our regular attacks. I want to see how much damage they do. Well, there's no point in doing Ember Lance anymore. My just regular attacks do considerably more. And seem to have, like, an AoE explosion. I... I hope this problem was fixed for Torchlight 2, because, like, what is the point of even... Well, I guess in this case, we don't even want... Uh, we don't want to even push cast speed anymore, because that doesn't... That doesn't affect my, my attack speed. Well, I'm mildly disappointed. It's not that big of a deal, but it's like... I don't know. It it feels cheap. What is the point of spells when I can just hit? Yeah, definitely a big fan of spells scaling based on either level or... Uh, or honestly... I kind of prefer skills, uh, spells scaling based on, on your weapons in these games. Because level caps off at a certain point, kind of depending on how you do it. Whereas, like, your weapons, your weapons can keep going, depending on the game. Yeah, he stares down. Is that anything over there? It might be. I just don't know if it's actually enough that I need to care. Okay. And my lightning, my lightning spells even do bonus damage. So yeah, we're we're gonna have to we're gonna have to build for dual wielding to some degree instead. 
and maybe even just like raw magic weapons. Unfortunately, we're not finding a whole lot of good ones, so it doesn't seem as necessary. I'm gonna switch this out. Oh. I just don't have the spell anymore. I must have I must have gotten rid of it on the previous respec. Well, I guess we could always just go respec so we get the enrage. So the one thing I will give my uh hello. Better. S sorta. Nope. 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 I can't carry anymore. Okay. I go is full. Switch these back. Your pet has departed. Okay, there we go. Eh. And it's back. I I will give the uh the lance credit that AoE is nice. It's just the damage scaling is miserable in comparison to just hulking out with a appropriately powerful weapon. Why do you struggle against Ordrak's will? No matter. The overseer could not pass this realm, and you will fare no better against the goblin hordes. Uh-huh. That's that's a big goblin. Oh boy, they really did not model a mouth in there. I don't know if you guys saw it, but the uh, the 3D model is stretching something fierce. Let's just dump those guys down. Some of these. Do some of my imps. Making sure all my bases are covered. Okay, is that crag? Yeah, well, I mean. And he's dead. I think? Maybe not. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. There's a lot of stuff just exploding. Okay, so... Bad boots. Pay attention to the rings. Electro... No. I think most of these are kind of eh. For what I'm doing. Get rid of the potions, because we're not going to need them anymore. Edge of Mania, which I get the very distinct feeling is not made for my class. Okay, well, let's keep putting points into raw magic, just become ridiculous. And put that one point in so I can actually use that. Hey! Armor rack has mostly nothing. Okay, no fancy treasure room for me. So be it. You've made it to the fortress. Are you feeling the effects of the Ember Blight? Don't worry. We're close to finding your cure. I hope you will continue to help me afterward. Whatever is causing this corruption is too powerful for me to face on my own. Clear a path to the Ember Forge, and I will meet you there. You have gained a task. Whee. Man, it is so unfortunate spells do not scale with weapons. Ah. Uh, it's like, I think my just regular attacks do twice as much as the Ember, Ember Lance. The dwarves will consume both from below and from within. Ordrak's minions assaulted the fortress, and his essence flowed through the Ember and turned them to his side. The remains of the battle are all around me, but my understanding comes from the Ember. He speaks to me through the veins, and I cannot shut my ears to his voice. Despite his immense strength, Ordrak cannot leave the source of his immortality. His essence reaches out through the veins and corrupts without purpose. Such power could transform the world if only it were freed from this mountain. I have never been here before.
This is neat. So these are the Dwarven Halls. Yeah, so I've been to one zone deeper than this, I guess. But I've never been here before. This is cool. We could really use some, like, attack speed, maybe. Oh no, traps. Whatever will I do? Completely ignore them like everything else. Just rush straight through and be A-OK. -okay. What else do we have here? Hello. Oh, right. I gotta switch this out. There we go. I was afraid for a second I'd bugged it out. That my, uh... My dudes... Wait. It doesn't look like they do any extra damage. Damn. I was really hoping that I'd, uh... You could actually, like, s spam cast it and just, like, keep it going for forever. Anyway. Yeah, I've been to one, like, deeper, kind of creepy purple area. Compared to this. But... That's the extent. Oh, that's fine. It works. I'm just going to let everything, uh kind of die around me. I really wish I could actually have, like, slot extra skeleton spells here. And just, uh, just have, like, a larger horde of skeletons. I guess I, it's not that necessary. But yeah, maybe, considering I can have 100% uptime on this, this damage boost, maybe I should work on that. Okay, so leveling this up increases all physical and elemental damage. Oh, yeah, sure. Because everyone is a ten percent bonus. I can't carry anymore. For my dudes. Okay, we do have the deflecting warrior visage. Not actually better. My pack is full. My dog's pack is full. I kind of almost wish it would make like a, uh, like a dog noise. If it was like, if its inventory was full. But no. Okay. Let's enrage them. Not that there's much, much for them to immediately fight, but if I can just kind of keep that going semi-endlessly. Oh. They actually do, like, shoot out. That's kind of neat. So it's like a, a big spam shot ability. Who's my number two? Oh, haste. Oh, god. I don't recall being this fast. Well, if we wanted to speed run the game, I totally could. We are looking for a mid-boss in the area, though. So I shouldn't I shouldn't go too hella fast. Don't think I've left anything behind. But if we reach that door without, I'll know. It's the my army. For I am kind of lazy and don't feel like doing all of the effort myself. Oh. There's a ballista. I shot my own dudes. Well, that's not really a problem. Are we? No. Okay. The thing dropped on the ground. I was like, Am I in the is my inventory full already? Is that what's, is that what's happening here? The answer is no. That was fine. And yeah, it looks like just regular attacks are substantially better for this guy. That, uh, that sucks. Well, it's not like the biggest problem in the world, but it's just like, it's, I don't know, some of those spells were cool. I had like nice AOEs and stuff, and then it's just like, nope. Oh, you know what would be a fun game to play, just kind of as a random thing? I actually really want to play Dungeon Defenders again. I haven't played that in ages. Uh, my brother and I used to play it a lot. 
when I was in college, uh, you know, for Christmas break, we would make some progress on Dungeon Defenders, and I think eventually we just decided to binge through the entire thing in one go, which is actually a lot of fun. I kind of miss that. Maybe, maybe that will be something to do. Because I enjoyed Dungeon Defenders 1 a lot, and then I kind of enjoyed Dungeon Defenders 2. But I never put it up on YouTube. I should have, at the time. Now I, I, I'm not friends with those guys, so it would be like kind of weird to put the footage up. I think I, I think I might have gotten rid of it already. Because the quality was kind of bad anyway, and it, it... I don't know. It kind of varies. Sometimes you'll do a series and, you know, one of the people really isn't, like, uh, given their A game, and you kind of notice, and you're like, yeah, I'm just going to hold on to this footage for a rainy day instead of being, like, super excited about this. I think there were also, like, bugs or problems, like, ah, man, I don't even remember. I haven't played a whole lot of Deven Dungeon Defenders 2, so I don't really know the ins and outs of it. I just remember it was, like... It really was trying to be, like, more of an MMO than Dungeon Defenders 1. Which is odd. I don't know, I just feel like multiplayer games, unless they, like, very specifically need, like, MMO mechanics, I almost always feel like just... Yeah, co-op games should just be co-op games. Don't don't rebalance it for a cash shop. Just sell it to me flat. You know, if you have to sell a DLC to give everybody, like, weird rabbit hats. And then that's it. Yeah, I'll have to load it up again and, and double check. Because, yeah, it's, it's been so long I've actually totally forgotten the, uh, the ins and outs of the game. Yeah, we don't need that. Actually, most of my equipment is, uh, green at this point. Or, better than green at this point. Though, I should pay more attention to what is, what is what. Maybe don't hurt me? I had the same problem with Orcs Must Die. Actually, I had more of a problem with Orcs Must Die. Orcs Must Die 2 was great. I had a lot of fun playing Orcs Must Die 2. And then, like, Orcs Must Die 3, uh, th well, not 3, Unchained came along, and I was just like, this is just, like, a weird MOBA. And they're like, yep, it's a weird MOBA, MOBA, and I'm like, I don't really like the weird MOBA. And then they deleted it, but then kind of, it just still didn't feel great. I don't know, I tried. I tried to enjoy it. And it, like, it had all the trappings, the level design was better, but the, uh... The balance was kind of nuts, and I didn't really enjoy it. Like, fighting enemies, I felt useless. I was entirely reliant on my traps, and even then it wasn't that cool. Like, honestly, with games like Orcs Must Die and Dungeon Defenders, the player character themselves should feel powerful, but should... Like, they should feel powerful, but they shouldn't... Be, like, there should be so many enemies that you have to rely on the traps. You can't just solo things. Why is that? It was probably trying to hit this dude down here. My spells were just going weird places. What other games have done that? Where, like, the first one or two games were amazing. And then after that, it got kind of weird, and it's like too online multiplayer e to be fun anymore. I'm afraid that's going to be what happens with uh, Borderlands 3, because I liked Borderlands 2, even though I've barely played it before. I liked Borderlands 1. I've played through it uh, three times now, I think, and had a lot of fun with it. And so, like, I'd I'd like to play through Borderlands 2, and I'm just worried about 3. I actually rather liked the pre-sequel. I know most people would disagree with me on that one, but I thought pre-sequel is the best. It was short and definitely, like, they phoned in some things, but the the low-gravity mechanics actually made the game feel real fun. But that probably was also because it came out at about the same time that I was really getting into uh, Tower of Guns, which is floaty as all hell. Let's see. Nope. That is not better than, than what I'm rolling. 
And so having, um... Having, like, really floaty movement. And I guess it was prettier, too, because it was the only one that wasn't set specifically on Pandora. And I actually really found myself drawn to that, because Pandora itself, not nice to look at. Some of the some of the parts actually very specifically Borderlands 3 looks pretty good. I can't carry any. Or Borderlands 3, Borderlands 2 looked pretty good. Borderlands 1 looked like garbage. It was not a pretty game. There were a couple of like interior sets that looked decent otherwise it was just it was just mud. It came from the era of extreme mud and it lived the mud and then it decided to be a, a desert game. So even more mud. Okay, do I keep? Yeah, let's keep pumping some points into that. I think I might have to res respec. Let's see. What are the games were very muddy from that era? I fifty cent blood in the sand. I, I've never played it, but I've watched some, uh, I've watched other people play it, and that game is just indecipherably brown. What other ones are there? There's a number that, like, are just so brown, it's just like, what were you doing? Uh, for those of you, I guess, that weren't really paying attention to the tech in the era, uh, pretty much all of the, like, HD graphics, shaders, 3D programs, whatever, uh, you know, the more realistic you went, the more brown the games became, became because they couldn't get, like, colorful lighting down very well. And even nowadays, you run into, like, a lot of those problems. But it's kind of changing. Horizon Zero Dawn, God of War, like, those are, those are games that originally were pretty brown and look so much better. With their, like, modern iterations. Well, Horizon Zero Dawn doesn't have a modern iteration. It is just a modern iteration. It's a good one, too. I hope, uh... I hope Horizon Zero Dawn 2 is good. I hope they do more with the story. Because the problem I have with, like, a lot of games is you just, like... You walk to the location, you hear somebody talking to you about the plot. You shoot some dudes and you leave. And I mean, I guess that's kind of standard for, like, most games, but it doesn't really set the stage for the town, uh, for the town for the plot. Like, I will admit, this game is pretty, uh, pretty guilty of that. Like, I don't even know why I, like... I guess for this game, if you had a drilling machine that let you drill straight down to the, uh, the center of the planet or to the final dungeon, Apart from the one one chick yelling at you about like we gotta get you cured, gotta chase my master, like the that's the only reason why we actually have to like go through any of these zones, and like maybe a little bit of immediate flavor dialogue with it, like oh yeah, oh we can't get in here, a little bit of flavor di dialogue being like yes this is the dwarven stronghold, they they were here first and they got wrecked by the the corruption ish. Uh, it's probably better. My pack is full. Your pet has departed. My inventory is full. I forgot my dog's inventory was full earlier. But you know, if you had a digging machine, you could straight up just go straight past like half of these and really not feel like you missed anything. But I think that's more of just a consequence of like there's not much of a plot here. It's not exactly compelling. 